Islanders tonight. So teams get ready to start off. And uh, Chattanooga going into the huddle. Asheville lined up and ready. They're getting the free kick. Asheville, of course, playing from right to left on your screens in the sky blue. And uh, Chattanooga, of course, dark blue and white. Domenico resplendent in orange. And the uh, Asheville goalkeeper in neon green, expecting to get teased by the hooligans about that. Nothing gets by them. Indeed. Not only the chance to rip the other players, no. <laughs> so, uh, about to get underway. A few minutes after 7.30. Not too bad tonight for time for starting. Keep it on the scoreboard and uh, enjoy some soccer. Whistle. He did bring it, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Okay, here we go. <laughs> and we're off. Both teams looking for points tonight, of course. And uh, Coach Bill playing a similar side to when he played against Asheville before. And we played him at home. Nice little ball there through. Nearly set Adam Webb off. And uh, he's playing, uh, looks like it's a 5-3-2. Uh, Fairly aggressive. Uh, Adam Webb with his speed. Chasing that one back. Yeah, the defender gets it back, takes care of it. It's good to see Chattanooga already probing and looking for something to happen. This is how they played on the road. They, they, uh, they didn't wait and sit back, they went for it, and it, it got results. So I think uh, we've really uh, encouraged them to, uh, you know, not wait, spend 10 minutes thinking about it, just get straight into action. Yeah. I mean, scoring tends to reinforce that kind of a habit, you know. Well, it does, but the results have shown it worked, so that's why they're, they're doing that. One other thing going on tonight, of course, is that we play uh, Asheville for the beer barrel, which Chattanooga won last season quite handily. And uh, so the winner of tonight's game, um, although it's actually scored aggregate goals, will get the uh, the beer barrel. So Chattanooga being two up has been a good position. Chattanooga don't want to let go of that beer barrel. If you saw the pictures of Philippe all there hanging on to it last year, <laughs> you know they don't want to let it go. So, <laughs> so another one of those uh, things that makes playing the game fun. Calling for a high foot there. Oh man, his right foot a bit too high. Free kick to Ashford just inside Chattanooga itself. Did you uh, hear the commentary from the Ashford game, Peel? I didn't. I didn't catch the commentary. I followed it on Twitter okay. as I do when I don't get to see it. Try to catch it. It's a little different. Hey, uh, guys took a different approach to the commentary, it's very interesting. <laughs> kind of makes it fun to go there and hear them talking. But what's different about it? Um, or is it one of those things I have to see for myself? Well, it's kind of hard to explain. I think I think you should probably try and catch one. I realise you're working, but if you do get a chance to catch a rerun of it, it's kind of interesting to see how they how they do it. Yeah, but it's not really any other commentary or soccer I've heard before, let's say that. <laughs> <laughs> couple of guys doing it and it's always just a little different approach from other places so it's always good it's like, well, that's what makes it interesting each, each club's got its own character and its own style of doing things which is fine you know absolutely so I, like, I like that about the NPSL so free kick Chattanooga on the far side good spot it's a good spot get rid right of the float one into the box early in the game Hernandez drives it low but the keeper's onto that one Thing coming out of that. Jamie Smith. This is the far sideline. Asheville City crossing this midfield. They're just dispossessed again. They're not getting much past the defence, are they? So. Yeah. 
long balls and try and slide those through. And uh, foul ball. There was a foul or a throw? There was a foul, yeah. yeah he's washed a bit too quick with the feet there. Yeah. Well, you can tell he's just chomping at the bit to well, score. Well, he is, because he didn't play the early games and Mason told me he wants to get out and get some more goals. He scored a, a nice goal against the Lounge and he wants some more. So. I wouldn't be shocked if he got one. I mean, he's, no, he's really been all he was, the uh, When we played him, he was playing at the New Orleans Jesters in the previous season. He was always the, the player we had to watch. So he's quite a dangerous striker. So I'm glad he's on our side, not theirs. <laughs> but I remember, I, I remember him from those games. You know, we talked about that when he, was, when he signed up. And he, was, he enjoyed playing those games. And he always wanted to be here. So we're glad he is. <laughs> Happy and no team really getting possession, holding on to it. It's like a couple of touches and it goes away each time. Yeah, it's both uh, back lines really. It's like two or three, yeah, two or three touches and it goes. So a little bit scrappy. Lima, good bounce off the back of Adam Webb, but dangerous. It helps. A little yeah. jersey grabbing. Getting the advantage, Caleb Cole coming into the corner. Can he get in there? Is he going to run out of space? Ah, he went a step too far. That went out for a goal kick. Dangerous pressure from CFC, though. And you're right, there was some sure pulling referee. Can't let it go. Hands off the merchandise there, if you can't hear them. <laughs> ah, man, they're on top of everything. Asheville still concentrating on the short ball, the give and go, not playing long ones just yet, which is probably where they're going to. Right through it again. Really using the full length of the field. They're not. They're in a fairly small area, so that's better. He's got his long ball. Jordan Dunstan back to Phil D'Amico. Nice header. D'Amico able to gather that that any stress. Cole into that pass from Lima. A little bit too long, and the ball's out in the crowd. <laughs> Right over top of the hooligans. Yeah. Good play now coming on the left side of the field. Gabby oh, Torres, great ball through the Mason Walsh. Cuts it back. Oh, there's nobody there. Caleb Cole. Bam. Keeper can't hold it. This is a great shot. Whoa, yeah. There's nobody there on top of the uh, penalty spot to hit that one in, but Caleb Cole recovered it. And Good shot. Just a little bit more pressure. Yeah, Jordan uh, Dunstan here with one of his long throws underneath the hooligans. It's really pushing Astral back into their own half, in fact, into their own penalty box. Astral getting it away. Walsh back to Lima. Tons of time. Huge kick Good to Alan Webb. Alan Webb pushed over in the box. No pushed ball. in the back of the referee wow. says play on. Wow. It was a pretty obvious push in the back to you and me. And those of you at home too. But not to the referee. Yeah. Another great moment brought to you by Capital White <laughs> Ike, I think. <laughs> One of our great long-term sponsors. Thank you, folks. <laughs>
tenth minute, still nil nil. Chattanooga having a couple of goes at the goal. Asheville, nothing yet. Setting it through the web. Ah, uh, web offside. Good idea though. Yeah. And honestly, the chemistry has been there, so. It has been the away games too, and it's, it's still here tonight. And that's something you can't train for. You've got to let it, you know, develop on its own. But it's good this year. That's something we may have lacked a couple of seasons ago, but now we're not. Nashville City throw by Will Mims. But uh, I'm not really making any of it now. Hernandez working again with the far side with Torres. Those two really have combined well this season. Torres coming through again. Here he comes. And he was held back. So a uh, free kick to Chattanooga. The Asheville players kicks it away, but the play goes on. Chattanooga moving on the right wing. Sanchez and Hernandez. Nice combining. Now Lear and Dunstan. Doing what they do best. Jordan dumps through a huge kick up field. Caleb Cole gets hold of it. Chattanooga got the bounce there. He did. Here, Torres in the box. Seca gets on it. Can't get hold of it. Falls to Webb. On the right side now. Webb trying to get around the defenders. Takes a shot. Straight into the keeper, though, and the keeper gathers it. But, uh, good shot. Almost out of nothing. It just looks like Asheville SC's defense is just barely hanging in there. They are being pushed back. We're enjoying that a whole lot. They're trying to play these give and goes. The, the road trip for Asheville doesn't make probably a good mood or it's a tight it's like a handball but the referee didn't give it there have been a few of those missed balls yeah quite a few suspect we might see some more we saw a couple of the Atlanta game Through, trying to get the ball, can't get the oh. touch right, and it pops out for a goal kick. But uh, well, let's have that one. Yeah. Caleb okay, Cole's turning into quite an aggressive striker these days, as you've probably seen the last couple of games, folks. And uh, he's letting it fly whenever he gets the chance now, and getting results. By Asher, kick the ball straight out. Not, not a great goal kick at no, all. Throw to Hernandez, looking up his options. Who's he got open? Torres. Webb. Webb. Oh, can't get the bounce again. The ball gets away from him. Another back, try. Back to Hernandez. Though. Yeah, second time. Let's do it, do it again. <laughs> out to Walsh. Walsh coming in, gets the cross in. Asher able to push out on the way. Sanchez wins the ball back. Lever keeps it safe. Back to D'Amico. Ash will not get a run after that one. We'll save the energy. Do that, but it's <laughs> not a good dummy for me. Some <laughs> Walsh getting in there, winning the ball back. Now Webb's got it on the far side. Webb has changed sides over and over and over this game. Just and he's so fast. Pops it over. There's Caleb Cole. 
Caleb Cole gets a push in the back. Lovely bicycle kick. Sanchez gets it, takes the shot. Got yes. it. And there it is. 1 0. That might have been Hernandez. Our captain, Juan Sanchez, sneaks the goal in. After that cross on Walsh, the bicycle kick from Caleb Cole. <laughs> Just amazing. <laughs> one you can't see, sorry. <laughs> Ash will get his back into play. So, uh, Hooligan's bouncing around making tons of noise. And uh, Chattanooga taking the shots on goal, paying off. I think Ash will still wait to make their first one. Yeah, they're on the back foot, they're going to have to really go for it. Shields it out for a goal kick. Touches there, getting the ball through. Motion Walsh goes down, play goes on. But, uh, Ash will try and that long ball, it didn't come off, and then still trying this give and go thing. Yeah, do something else, they're going to get past the defence. So they're not making it. No. They haven't really even challenged the back line. Uh, not that much. Dunstan and, and Lima. No, I don't see them make too much of a sweat so far, no. <laughs> Deep Lima. Oh, you were right. I got it. You were right. And who was that? Number 11. Yeah, Ross Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick. Played so nice goal. Puts us level. Not what we were expecting. But yeah. It was just a really quick throw. He was. That was. Here. Been one, uh, yeah, one shot on goal, one attack. Which is a great ratio. You'll have to regroup on that one and uh, not get complacent. Uh, again, they do the quick uh, team get together along with Anders. Tells them what they need to be doing. So it's a really good job by Asheville to take advantage of uh, Chattanooga's defense. Just wasn't in shape yet, and they got it out to the far side. So, yeah, so in the 19th minute, a quick response makes it one each. See what Chattanooga have got. Plenty more time for lots of goals. So. And I, I expect them. But there's oh, I'm expecting some more too. <laughs> <laughs> Way too many shots on goal for Chattanooga for oh, yeah. one to be the only. That's it. It's more than I. So yeah, definitely a bit of uh, taking their foot off the off the gas there a little bit, and they got punished. And we've seen that many many times where a team gets the lead and makes them the most vulnerable to see their goal, and that was proof of it. They're going to double their efforts, Mason Walsh. Give him a foul away. And far side. A little too aggressive. Yep. Just a bit. Free kick for Asheville. Now 
Asher are pushing a few back. See the dynamics change in Chattanooga's in the back of their own half. Asher feeling like they've got the uh, an edge there. Zeka gets nudged over. Referee waves play on. Alan on. Webb. Webb oh, slides it in. There you go. Oh, and he's A minute later. Even he doesn't know why he's that good. Alan Webb with a cheeky goal. 2 1. Lovely play. Referee played the advantage on Zeka's foul. Alan, Wall, Alan Webb on his own, runs it through, slides it under the keeper. Easy. <laughs> Great answer. I feel like this is the second crafty goal that I've seen him. Uh huh. You think there were going to be quite a few goals, Keon? I think you're right. He's really good at getting the keeper to go one way and then he fires right. back the opposite direction. He's very good at that. Mr. Webb and uh, good combination. So Asheville back with all the work to do again. Just when it looked like the momentum was turning back Asheville's direction, it did, didn't it? Yeah, and then they turned it. Chattanooga FC so just three, stops it. Three goals in uh, six minutes, and uh, <laughs> well, this is a fun game. That's why we love soccer. <laughs> <laughs> and we have the folks watching home like it too. So uh, let's see what's going to happen next. Stay tuned. <laughs> for a throw in and cornered and now there's a new house check combining actually trying to get something out of this Sanchez giving the ball away getting it trying to get it back Ashford playing a bit better combining that's better from them balls in the box and is that Fitzpatrick again couldn't get much of a shot in there at all could he no, quick and quick his foot on it. A little dangerous there for Chattanooga, but uh, no harm done. Actually, I'm going to go back a bit. Ooh, that was dangerous, but that right in front of the second is the right boot. I wouldn't do yeah. that, but... If he gets a hold of that one, that was uh, a dangerous it's, spot it's to be in. It's game over if he gets a hold of that. <laughs> Ash will try to come forward fast. As Jack's got it covered. Fitzpatrick has sent Everson Lima for life, which is very unusual. Everson's huge. It's a lot knock him over. Ash will turn on the... Uh, on the gas a bit and trying to go faster and uh, Zeka catching. Let's see that was. Number four got a, a nudge in the back. Who was that one? Uh, that would be Smith. Jamie Smith. Jamie Smith. He's tall lad, so free kick to Asheville. Two of them over it. Rid of it. There's an offside. I hope I saw one. <laughs> Not even close. An opportunity to pass, but the uh, you put a player two yards behind everybody else, and that's straight to the keeper from El Domico, trying for that goalkeeper to goalkeeper shot. <laughs> <laughs> well, you might as well. The keeper's off his line. I say do it. On the small chance he mishandles it, you know, well, you give yourself a really good chance. Can't even get hold of it. We saw that goal in. Uh, Greenville game where it uh, bounced off the keeper and went in, so, you know, <laughs> who knows. No, that was the Revolution game, sorry. 
And that was just uh, a weird goal where they all count. So Mason Walsh down here on the right wing, coming all the way back from the left defence, where he's been trying to get space for a cross. Oh, it's a kick in the back of the legs, keep them nothing there from the referee. Spread from Juan Sanchez, Gabby Torres, lots of room. Now he's going to charge down the line, cross it. Oh, it's a strong. Runs out for Nashville throw. Good move out of nothing. Not the world's best throw there. No, it wasn't a great one, but the play goes on. <laughs> Pressure on as the defense. And I have got the ball. Trying to give him plenty of time to make their pick their spot and shoot. And that's an easy giveaway to one and then grab that back. And trying to get Asheville to come out, commit, and then Chanu can make the break. So they kind of, I think the defense is holding back a little bit and trying to draw the forwards towards them. We're kind of sitting back. They need to come forward if they're going to get anything out of this. Get more than one goal. Zeke, I can run over Caleb Cole again. Just patient play. Caleb Cole, a little slow there. And uh, really good, good move from Asheville to get that back. Let's see if they do anything with it. Foul given. I think Asher are looking for Alan Webb streaking in. They can't clear it. Webb's got it. Uh, Webb Webb's slips. down. Webb's up. Webb's down again. And looks like it goes out for a corner. Again, a little bit of aggression for Asher there. It could have been a, a penalty kick, but it wasn't. There were one or two. Uh, Fouls that could have been called in that one possession. They could have been called. Referee's been playing the advantage quite a bit in this game, and that's making it flow. But, uh, some of those could have been called. Deep corner kick. Out of the box, Caleb Cole. Car get the shot on straight at all. It gifts off away off the behind the line for a goal kick. Could not get hold of that one right at all. Coach Giordano's off his bench down there for Asheville talking to the players. Telling them to try something different, I think. <laughs> the head tennis going on there, finally settled down. Chase down, but he's not going to worry about it. And clears it without too much aggravation. Nice push there. Oh, Caleb pass. Cole, great pass to Zeka though. While he's been nudged around. Zeka fighting for the ball. And referee's calling on that one. A foul for Asheville, but Zeka being a bit too aggressive. But both sides are aggressive in that tackle, so. Yeah. <laughs> and we were wondering because we. Uh... Well, who's he calling it on? <laughs> We were looking through the game notes and we saw that yeah. Asheville in their uh, draw last night with Greenville uh, drew two red cards or two red cards on each side. Two apiece. Yeah, they if they finish. were playing this physically in that <laughs> game, I can actually see how that's possible. With certain referees, they would give cards for that. Yeah. So, yeah, I wasn't sure if they were cumulative yellows or they actually straight reds, but either way, it's not good they'd be playing with nine. <laughs> you could be playing with 11. Right. So, yeah. 
But then it got to be even, I guess, since both. Ashwell trying to put forward. Jordan Dunstan down for the header. No, Lever down for the header, sorry. Out from the corner to Ashwell. <laughs> saying it was fouled, and I think uh, the referee's agreeing. Obviously, Ashwell Keener gets something out of this, and a bit too aggressive there. D'Amico so, got his hands on him, then he yeah, got pushed over. I think so, yeah. If the goalkeeper has possession of the ball, then he can cannot kick it out of his hands again, but... It's always debatable whether that happens. We start at the World Cup, the Women's World Cup, where there were goals here from the VAR. Still, the kid did have hold of it. It didn't look like they had, and so you know, I was called and the goal wasn't given. Uh, in that case, the referee saw that one. So, Ash with a throw on the far side. Wanted to make something out of this and get on the score sheet again. It's uh, 30 minutes played, 2 1 Chattanooga FC. The goal was coming in a six minute spell. First one, Sanchez taking it 1 0. Fitzpatrick evening it up almost straight away in the 19th minute. And in the 20th minute, a straight answer from Jan Ugrissi. Alan Webb's cracking little goal, making it 2 1. Outside him. Nope, Zetter outside him, sorry. In the, in the box, can't really clear it, can they, Ashwell? It's red. Going for the shot, bending it. Oh, didn't quite get that one right, but it's just a good, good attempt on the, over the left hand post. Stayed in. Hernandez on the far side, trying to get something to happen. Get back to that. Two passes per team, and it goes away each time. <laughs> trying to do a little better, but yeah. Ashwin not able to maintain possession. I'm a bit frustrated. It's either they go all the way into the box, or they don't get anything. Yeah, going. right, right. Let's Doesn't seem to be a whole lot of. They get stymied there. somewhere. Yeah. I mean, Ash will definitely play for the field now. You can see that. Number 25 is uh, getting a lot closer to Everson Lee than he was in the first part of this half. The referee calls foul against Asheville. Chattanooga. Just not stop running, does he? <laughs> Constantly moving. He is. It's so difficult for you defending against that with somebody who does not stay still. Coming a little bit forward, 
Berserker. He's got two in back here. Cole. And Cole spreading it wide to Hernandez. Nice ball. Hernandez coming in. Three on him. He goes down the box and referee says nothing. Okay. Well, all right then, referee. <laughs> We're pushing it up. You can see they're frustrated they're not getting up. They're not having players in formation where they're supposed to be. It's the midfielders who are going to push that ball up and nobody's there to receive it and they're expecting someone to be, you know, where they're supposed to be. And they're not. It's like, come on guys, you can see they're getting a bit ticked off with that. Communication. So the scoring friends is calmed down a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> well, three goals in six minutes. I don't think it was actually possible to keep up that pace. No, <laughs> it's not. It's not. It's hard for us. It's probably even worse in the field. But nice little flurry us. there. It was very good, especially when it's in our favour. I know you say other sports like basketball, well, they will be. Bang, 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 and I'll stop doing that. But soccer's usually a little different. So Ash will throw on the far side. Trying to get some men up. So one open on the side over here. Blocking it nicely so the pass does not connect. Mason Walsh shipping it up for Alan Webb. Those two are combining so well. This time Ash will clear it. Oh, it's Mason Alan Webb in the face and it goes out for a throw to Ash. Well defended by Chattanooga though. Yep. Yeah, Sorority has to read that one. Sort of able to break up the attack. but that's not what this game's about, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, that's not, that's not how you want to do it either. Should we call it a foul there? Uh, take, we'll take it further back. The Asheville players getting a bit lippy with the bench there. If we need to get a grip on that, oh, they picked up red cards from the last game. Yeah, I mean, that's just stupid. Spell of possession. Got to move it across the field there and throw its nice long ball there. Keener comes out for it. That time uh, on the end of it nicely. Nashville slowing the pace right there. That little back heel didn't work, did it? You didn't mean to do that. Sanchez still getting the ball, and the foul goes against him. Yeah. Well, he was being held by two, but okay. Again, the referee sees things we don't. And it's Pat 
sweeps past, goes way off, and Demiko gathers it out. Going for Alan Webb then. Well, Alan Webb's the point man, they're trying to set him off again. Yeah, and Mason Walsh with you has check. And Ash was done a great job with Great the cross from Walsh. Zecker. Oh, nearly fell for Zecker. Webb can't get the touch and Ash like gonna hoof it away. And back to where we're in the first part of this half, where Chattanooga got all the pressure on Ashville again, forcing them back into the last third. Welcome sight if you're a Chattanooga fan. Not quite what you want if you're looking for Asheville's side. No, not at all. Um, but again, referee playing the advantage there. Getting quite physical. Some lever. Steve has check. Something's going back to Zeka. Fernandez to Sanchez. Chattanooga taking their time and building again. Cole trying there. to come through. Ah, Ashley Ash very well broken up. They broke it up nicely, but gave away a throw in in a quite a dangerous spot. Ash already have several players warming up to go on as subs. Chattanooga not yet. They're going to lose on the bench. Still fighting for it. What a header. Oh, yeah, Nanda's getting that other goal. Whoa. It's a good save by Mac Vicious. Just everything that you wanted on that play except the score. Well, that's it. Two goals they game for one of them, but not quite. <laughs> Get a cold long ball again, trying to set Alan Webb off. He's working there, Captain Hart. And number three, he's really making sweat. Hernandez with the ball, spreading it wide to Walsh. Walsh coming down the wing. There's one on him, but he's got it. Webb crosses it. Oh, and Zecha nearly <laughs> putting it in. Ashville having to hoof the ball away, the big kick. Knocking over all the picnic tables on the bank, but Ashville live again to stay in the game. Mason Walsh taking the corner. Only a few minutes of regulation play to go. Here it comes. Deep. There's a head. Oh, off the post. Oh. So close. So close. Juan Sanchez, so frustrated, throwing his hands down in frustration. Off the post. But he was using his height there, clear for the header. It's, I mean, it's like Mount Everest with him, and he jumps there. Oh, gosh. Nobody yeah. else up there. Well, you'll see, but as a midfielder, he goes up for a corner kick or a free kick with Everson Lee, and both of them just so tall they go up. <laughs> and so. It's, uh, yeah. Some great height advantage. Another foul ball still in play. Tucker gets gets the ball, but uh, Ashwell hoof it off. Jordan Dunstan's there first. Of course, he's back to Zeka. <laughs> now Ashwell have it again. No bad pass. That was sloppy ball control there. Chapman was able to steal it off and foul given for the push. it up. Use this skill and experience, just clears it away and again. Ashworth's number four has to be there to clear that so Alan Webb doesn't get a clear run. Ashworth trying to 
come through again, broken up, Chani will read in these. Lisa Walsh clears the loose ball. Alan <laughs> Webb coming in. And a foul called. Uh oh. Uh -oh. That's a yellow foul. That's a yellow from Alan Webb. So I don't go. agree. <laughs> it wasn't that aggressive. I mean, Alan Webb was on the front of him, see, so I don't know how see he. See, the guy is uh, about a foot tall, Alan Webb. Not sure how he got the foul in, but. He says it was, but you can see Alan Webb's a lot shorter. See how much shorter is that guy? He still says he's flying. So, as we come up to the end of 45 minutes, and the end of the first half, Ashwell 2 1 down with a free kick just inside the Chattanooga half. They love to nick a goal at the, uh, this point. Uh, they have to do better than that if they're going to do get a goal. There's going to be one minute of extra time. There's been so few stoppages in this, this half, which is great. And again, Ashwell able to capitalise. Ball's back. D'Amico is there. Great goalkeeping. Yeah. That's why Phil D'Amico is MPSL Player of the Week. Did I mention that? Let me you say it again. That. Phil D'Amico of Chattanooga is the MPSL Player of the Week. Six saves this past week. And yeah, quite a few tonight too. Yeah, <laughs> got about two more. Salima sends the ball into space. <laughs> what a leg. I don't know. Yeah, when the season's over, I'm definitely going to employ him to uh, <laughs> kickstart a few motorcycles through the heart and start at my house. So that's going to be his job the rest of the year. So Asher with the throw in. Ball bouncing around, Chapman's still clearing it. We're trying to get some space, getting a shot, deflected. <laughs> D'Amico. Right behind it. <laughs> oh, number 11. It's Patrick thumping the ground in frustration. Just really summarises the whole first half for Asheville, Keon. Yeah, I mean, it's been Ross Fitzpatrick for, for Asheville. He's been the dangerous guy. And if it hasn't been him, it hasn't been much. And even he's been held back. Yeah. A lot of frustration, actually. Thought they got away when they equalised with that goal he got in the 19th minute, but Webb's, e Webb's uh, goal in response put them 2 1 up and everything was good. So, Chattanooga going in the first half 2 1 up. Right. As always, we'll take our 15 minute break. Before we have our break, I'm going to thank our sponsors once more. And uh, thanks to all for making the broadcast of the game possible. Market City Centre. Chattanooga SC's official player housing partner. Luxury living at the centre of it all at 728 Market Street in the heart of downtown Chattanooga. Bellhaven University. Need to finish or begin a degree? Come visit Bellhaven University at 820 Broad Street for a flexible, individualised educational plan centred around what you already know. And EPB Fibre Optics. Like Chattanooga FC, they are Chattanooga's local heroes, bringing our area ultra fast, reliable, and innovative fibre and cable. CFC is powered by EPB. And the following sponsors Volkswagen of Chattanooga, CHI Memorial, Center for Sports Medicine, and Blue Cross Blue Shield of Tennessee. All right, thank you guys. 15 minute break coming up. Time to put the kettle on. We'll be back shortly. So uh, don't move your seats. Don't. Leave your channel, there'll be lots more action in the second half. We'll see you soon.
All right, folks, welcome back to the second half. We are about to get underway. Here we go. Little Chattanooga FC playing from right to left in the dark blue shirts against Ashton the Sky Blue. 2-1 to Chattanooga. And uh, we're going to get another three points for Chattanooga and some more goals. You saw the action in the first half, that great flurry of goals in six minutes. Some more of that. Caleb Cole trying to get something going here. He is outnumbered. He's got support from Mr. Webb. There he goes. In the box. And Hernandez and Walsh getting each other's way a little bit there. Comes to nothing, but uh, Chattanooga showed intent from the first minute. The action is uh, fast and furious. I hope they can keep it up for 90 minutes. <laughs> that's, that's the real question. <laughs> yeah, we may get fatigue being a factor. But uh, both sides got players warming up for substitutions. So it'll be good to see some fresh legs. So, uh, once again, we'll see if Asheville can make something happen here or if they uh, continue to be a little bit frustrated by play. We've got a couple of special guests in the box list tonight. I know there'll be uh, names you'll know. Asheville's attack coming to nothing there. I think they changed their striker over here. They got a new striker. So we've got uh, here in the box tonight, we've got an old, an old friend of Chattanooga FC, Bill De Brock, who played in the very first teams in 2009-2010, and a, uh, a new face, which you've all seen playing, our good friend Ruben Marias is here from Spain, and uh, both guys are here to talk to us about the game. Let's watch Caleb Cole first, because he's really terrorising that defence. Oh, and a shot bounces out. Deflection, corner to Chattanooga. Okay. Right. So we're going to have a corner for Chattanooga. If we get a break in the action, I'll get these guys on the microphone in a minute. <laughs> Is it push out by Ashford back in again from Webb? Oh, and Hasjet gets ahead on it. And I think we got a goal kick to Ashford. All right, guys, so come on and say hello. Ruben, say hello. Hello, everyone, and Builder. Hey, guys, so yeah, Builder and Ruben here. So, uh so, Builder, what do you think the change chances you started playing with Chattanooga still this very field? You've seen a lot of changes. How does it look tonight compared to when we first started? It's unbelievable. I mean, to, to see every year there's been growth in, in the fan base, um, the, the team, as far as quality of play and talent, stepping up, um, and then just, just the amount um, inside the city, um, just of loyalty, and, and, uh, and it's, it's, it's really been unbelievable to see every year, just accumulation, uh, growth, and uh, just excitement level building. It's, it's, it's really, really impressive and, uh, and fun. It's, it feels like it's, it's no longer just this new, shiny, fun thing. It's, it's now in everyone's blood here as Chattanooga. It's, it's fun. It really is. I mean, when I was at the first game in 2009, it was just me and some friends only who liked soccer. And you were like this little cult people that knew what soccer was or I played it even. And uh, now it's, it's, it's very mainstream and it's great. And every time there's been a World Cup or a big event going on, everyone's focused on that. They can relate this game to that. Uh, and we brought so many teams here from other parts of the world too, which we never thought would happen with a small team in, you know. And we have Bill Batiste here this year, which is astonishing. We have the municipal from Guatemala coming tomorrow. Uh, it's, you know, it's been incredible. So we have communications from Guatemala here. It's been ridiculous. You never thought that would happen when it was you and we were in the stands banging paint buckets and shouting at you. <laughs> Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I mean, the, the fact that, that you know, with, with what is going on here with Chattanooga and Chattanooga FC, the fact that, that those teams are coming to, to you know, a small town um, right. because of, of the core that's built here and the excitement around soccer um, and, and what it's done, um, it's, it's a testament just to to uh, to really everyone that's been involved from from the fans to uh, you know, coaches and players all around the world. It's it's uh, it's truly a testament of that to bring in right. clubs of that level to a place like. 
like Chattanooga. You never would have thought it was possible to you. So, no, no, it's, it's amazing. The quality of play, here we get his wall again, doing his magic. Puts it back. God, I cannot get the connection on that ball. <laughs> so frustrating. So difficult to get, get that last touch on the ball. Ash will try and come away. So yeah, it's been, been great. I mean, you know, you appreciate a lot, a lot of fans watching home and watch for a long time and they appreciate it. And um, it is, it's something else. And uh, you know, a lot of cities in America would like to have the same kind of soccer team. <laughs> They're pretty jealous. So of what we have, so it's pretty cool. Now, going from that to somebody's first season, Ruben, how are you enjoying your first season in Chattanooga? I love it. There's been two months here. Mm -hmm. So what made you come to Chattanooga? Was it Juan or somebody else? Or? No, I didn't know anybody else okay. but um, Coach Fuller. Mm -hmm. I played for him last summer in okay. West Palm Beach right. and I, I keep in touch with him and mm -hmm. he told me to come here. Right. I did the tryouts here. Okay. So, yeah. Cool. I probably got photographs of you and my camera at home with you trying out. <laughs> um, but yeah, now you're here you realise this been a fairly regular Spanish group playing at Chattanooga over the years, and now you're the next part of it. Yeah, I think one, uh, yeah. It was, yeah, uh, was been here for seven yeah. years. Already. Yeah, one's really part of the yeah. part of the building, yeah. <laughs> let me say. And there are also more Spanish guys. Right. Sure, sure. Well, that's right. We have the guys from Brazil too. They're comfortable they're, they're, for me. Yeah. Well, that's good. I'm glad you're comfortable because you're a long way from home. <laughs> yeah. So, but, like I said, the fans yeah. and people here mm -hmm. make me feel like home. I think that's right. Once you play here, once you're, you're pretty much family here. Yeah. And that's the feeling we like about the club. Even when people leave, we keep in touch and follow their careers. As they go, they go pro or we like to follow them. And that's always important. So, that's cool. So, um, how does it compare to soccer in Spain? to do is make it more like a European team here and bring the crazy fans and you know the atmosphere of the game so and I find that's like a British game sometimes with the crazy fans and the passion and the, you know, the love of the game and you, know, you understand that being in Spain what we're trying to do is explain to the American people who not many understand it like the folks up here we all all four of us but you know some folks are like what's soccer you know but for you and me it's it's life <laughs> Absolutely. I, I think the Chattahooligans have done an unbelievable job of bringing that, that passion mm -hmm. uh, from, from the inside out, you know, with, with the fan base. They, they really are. They eat, sleep, and breathe it. They come you know, every game, painted up, waving their flags, singing nonstop. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a good taste of what it's like in other places in the world. Right, right. And uh, plus, you, you'll see when we play the away games, we, we yeah. saw you at Lanza last week. Uh, Ruben, there were more Chattanooga fans than Atlanta fans in the stadium, yeah. which is a bit embarrassing for Atlanta, frankly. <laughs> it's been more of us than them. <laughs> but that feels good, right? When you go away, it's like you take your family with you. You felt like home, I think. Yeah. They, well, you scored five goals, yeah, so you know. <laughs> even, away, even away games are home games. The That's it. That's right. That's right. So that makes it very exciting. Um, but yeah, how does it? When you're on the on the field, you can hear the fans, you can hear what they're saying, and all the noise. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah you can, and that affects you. You get excited and motivated. Yeah. And yeah. Normally, we are focused, very focused. So mm -hmm. uh, we are not we are not listening. Maybe right. We are right. hearing is the yeah. word. But sometimes if you have the time and you listen to them, it's, we get we get more more 
Yeah, that's right. There's a bad foul on Caleb Cole. Not the cards coming out from that one. And again, Ash will play in a physical game tonight. So, but yeah, we, we love it. The fans love it when you can get a goal and you celebrate running for the fans. Very exciting. Yeah, that's great. That's that that connection which we really want to have. Oh, it, the goes, club. it goes both ways. Yeah. The, the fans love it when, when you score and celebrate right in front of them right. as a player. Mm -hmm. You want to score so that you can celebrate <laughs> right in front of the fans. So it, it goes both ways. Right, right. That's great. That's really cool. We know so. the effort that they, they make. Yeah. So we want to give back to them as well. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, they, they spend. Not only the fans, but also like everyone who comes. Well, yeah, everyone who comes. Yeah. Everyone who comes. I mean, they do more than they making the banners and stuff. But yeah, everybody's here is, you know, as passionate as they are, as expressive and everything. But yeah, it's, it's very cool. So, it's very cool. So, yeah. So we've got a free kick Chattanooga. Let's see if uh, something happens here. Still 2 1 the Chattanooga. Nearly an hour played. Let's see what we get here. And there's deep in, keeper grabs it, no problems. Ash will try and break. See Chandler is shutting down. So, very good. So, good play. So, Ruben, are the family watching in Spain? The friends and family? Yeah, they enjoy used the to, game? They used to watch me. Okay. I would, say, I would like to say hello. To say hello in Spanish, family. I can't. Hola a todos, <laughs> familia, los morillas, a los Thank you. Thank you. Thank okay, you, sir. Okay, and I'm going to build your family's closer. You can say hi if you want to. Yeah, I'll, I'll just yell to them right when I walk out. Okay, that works. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I know my family's not watching because it's about one in the morning at home, so there we go. But uh, anyway, well, thank you both for coming in. We appreciate you both very much. And you're both, you're both part of Chattanooga FC, whether you're brand new or you're playing in 10 years. You're all family. So thank you all for coming tonight. Thank you, Michael. Thanks for having us. All right, guys. Enjoy the rest of the game. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I'm hand you back the key on for a tick. <laughs> You've listened to me too much. Well, it's almost. Uh, you know, Chattanooga was so productive there that. That interview uh, started. <laughs> yeah, started I know. Later I keep breaking off, and sorry, I didn't give you commentary, folks. But it's, it's, there's too much going on. <laughs> yeah, and you couldn't risk, you know, missing the goal. Well, you never want to miss a goal, do you? So. But, you don't want to miss a chance to talk to you know, talk to the players who we see on the field, and you know, you can see them up close and personal here. Their opinions. Interesting here, both those guys, different uh, experiences of Chattanooga. Yeah, you know, uh, one coming into Chattanooga. Uh, yeah. For the first season, and the other one uh, having, uh, in, in a sort of way, built built the house that, that Chattanooga FC is in. So. That's it. Yeah. Very cool. But, uh, nevertheless, all those guys, uh, you know, as we said, you, once you're in CFC, you're family. So that's how it is. So, so almost an hour played, still no score since the first half. Oh, there's a bad mistake, and Webb capitalised the point. <laughs> Chattanooga's still turning the screws, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, they haven't calmed down a bit. You know, temptation could be there to take your foot off the pedal, but they're, they're not falling into it at all. A bit of a breeze down there. Probably helps you cool things down here. a little bit, but it's still, still pretty warm down there. Yard box. There's a handball. Ah, there you go, ref. We saw that one. Well done, ref. And that's a yellow that's card. Yellow. De de deliberate handball. He put his arm out. It wasn't uh, a deflection. He put his arm out to stop the ball. So that's free kick Chattanooga on the edge of the 18 yard box. And that's Will Mims, the handball. Right. So uh, Mason Walsh over the ball. Gabby Torres. Swing something in there. Can't take a direct shot, but they can uh, do something very dangerous. Let's see what they do. Ooh, 
the swinger. Oh, oh, just over the head of Ash Lee. Head, which is hard to do if he's so tall, yeah. but they can do it. <laughs> so Ash will catch their breath and uh, bring on a sub. Ash uh, seven, I think. Adam Chick, Adam Chick yeah. He's a striker. Number two off that yellow card. So, so quick hello to the folks at High Wire Brewery are watching the game tonight. Hope you enjoy it. That's High Wire Brewery in Asheville, not here in Chattanooga. <laughs> I'm sure they know, but some people don't. Caleb Cole's back up and going, which is good after that knock. Sitting out on web off, waiting for support to build. That dummy tries to get the ball in, flex out for a corner. I mean, you think sometimes that Chattanooga would wait for support, but actually, their best chance is when they have the defense on their heels. I yeah, do. it I like is. The impression. If you've got a player who's got the skill to make the break, some is better to go for it on your own. All right, another chat in the corner. Swing deep ball. in the back of the box, still loose, not cleared. And a bit of pushing and pulling there. And it's time for the waiter delivery of the game. So a uh, foul Look given against Chattanooga, a bit of pushing and pulling there. Sanchez spreads it to your house check. Classic chat, and you can play really. Deep ball, can't find Alan Webb, but nearly. No, he's fast. Same as, as Jao Costa, that speed that can make so much difference. Oh, a collision there. Not intentional. One's gone down. Got winded and a really hard tackle there from Asheville. Mason Walsh pulls out for a throw now. Wild now has to get some attention. It looks like a collision. He probably got the wind knocked out of him, I think. Yeah, he's holding his stomach to his chest. I think it's just uh, those be pretty painful. I've uh, <laughs> had some of those. They do hurt. So when you can't breathe on a hot night, it's a horrible feeling. It's like he's back up, which is good. Yeah, it does help your door key. Oh, that's Asheville on the move for the first time this half. Yeah, really. they're playing probably sped up. And the ball goes through the box, offside called, and uh, that one fizzles out. Here he comes. Here he comes. 
He is replacing Alan Webb. And as you know, Jarry is extremely fast and they're gonna, Dashkell's gonna think they're getting a rest and they're like, no, you're getting fresh leg to somebody who's even faster than Alan Webb, so yeah. enjoy. It's, uh, it's probably not fun, I don't it's, know. They're, they're not aware of that yet, I don't think, but... Uh. <laughs> They'll find out soon enough. They'll find out. I don't know that Jao Costa's ever stepped on a field where he's not the fastest guy on it. Um, <laughs> I, I think you're right. <laughs> there he goes now, talking to Witch. Looks like he's ready to go. Duck it in, here he is, get the cross in, and touch it out for a corner. To Chattanooga, straight away winning a corner of Chattanooga in his first move. We've got a result for you folks, and the other game going on tonight, uh, Greenville are uh, winning their game 2-0. So uh, that puts them, I think, level with us at the moment. We both teams stay winning, then the positions in the league don't change. Chattanooga stay top, Greenville stay second. So uh, that looks like that's where it is. Let me show you, can I, yeah, can the goal difference, we're still ahead. So uh, Chattanooga's still top of the table after the result. Thank you to my assistant, Alex Lowell. Thanks, Lowell. <laughs> Here comes the corner. Heading back in the box, oh. gets a touch. Zeka getting a touch, but not into the goal. Touch over the bar. Slight collision with the defender, but uh, Kyle Fowler got knocked down. Yeah, that, that hurt shot. a bit, didn't it? So, not quite uh, goal number three, but again, Chattanooga threatening. Interception by Caleb Cole there. Hernandez looking for Costa. Costa like the lone striker. Zeka on the wing. Gets the ball in and again. I think we have another corner. We do, yeah. Got a little bit of flexion. One play Zeka. They looked for a second like Petkovic. I thought it went out for, for a goal kick, but it's yeah, that's a corner, that's fine with us, so a scoring chance for Chattanooga. 69 minutes played, still 2-1. Torch out and would like a third goal to settle things down. Play it short. Push back in. Ash will clear it. All right, folks, welcome back to the second half. We are about to get underway. Here we go. Your Chattanooga FC playing from right to left in the dark blue shirts against Ashton the Sky Blue. 2 1 for Chattanooga. And uh, we're going to get another three points for Chattanooga and some more goals. You saw the action in the first half, that great flurry of goals in six minutes. With some more of that. Caleb Cole trying to get something going here. He is outnumbered. He's got support from Mr. Webb. There it goes. In the box. And Hernandez and Walsh getting each other's way a little bit there. Comes to nothing, but uh, Chattanooga showing intent from the first minute. The action is uh, fast and furious. Have they been keeping up for 90 minutes? <laughs> that's, that's the real question. <laughs> yeah, we may get fatigue being a factor. But uh, both sides got players warming up for substitutions. So 
I'm gonna do good to see some fresh legs. So, uh, once again, we'll see if Asheville can make something happen here or if they uh, continue to be a little bit frustrated by play. We've got a couple of special guests in the box list tonight. I know there'll be uh, names you'll know. Asheville's attack coming to nothing there. I think they changed the, their striker over here and they got a new striker. So we've got uh, here in the box tonight, we've got an old, an old friend of Chattanooga, see Bill De Brock, who played in the very first teams in 2009-2010, and a, uh, a new face which you've all seen playing, our good friend Ruben Marias is here from Spain, and uh, both guys are here to talk to us about the game. Let's watch Caleb Cole first, because he's really terrorising that defence. Oh, what a shot bounces out. Deflection, call it Chattanooga. Okay. So we're going to have a corner for Chattanooga. If we're going to break in the action, I'll get these guys on the microphone in a minute. <laughs> Is it? Push out by Nashville. Back in again from Webb. Oh, he has to get ahead on it. And I think we got a goal kick to Nashville. All right, guys. So come on and say hello. Ruben, say hello. Hello, everyone. And Builder. Hey, guys. So, yeah, Builder and Ruben here. So, uh, so Builder, what do you think the change chances? You started playing with Chapman with still this very field. You've seen a lot of changes. How does it look tonight? compared when we first started. It's unbelievable. I mean, to, to see every year there's been growth in, in the fan base, um, the, the team, as far as quality of play and talent, stepping up, um, and then just, just the amount um, inside the city, um, just of loyalty, and, and, uh, and it's, it's, it's really been unbelievable to see every year just accumulation, um, growth, and uh, just excitement level. It's, it's, it's really, really impressive and, uh, and fun. It's, it feels like it's, it's no longer just this new, shiny, fun thing. It's, it's now in everyone's blood here as Chad Nugans. That's fun. It really is. I mean, when I was at the first game in 2009, it was just me and some friends only who liked soccer. And you were like this little cult of people who knew what soccer was or played it even. And uh, now it's, it's, it's very mainstream. And it's great. And every time there's been a World Cup or a big event, going on, everyone's focused on that, they can relate this game to that, uh, and we brought so many teams here from other parts of the world too, which we never thought would happen with a small team in, you know, and we have Bill Batiste here this year, which is astonishing, we have Municipal from Guatemala coming tomorrow, uh, it's, you know, it's been incredible, so we have Communicaciones from Guatemala here, it's been ridiculous, you never thought that would happen when it was you and we were in the stands banging paint buckets and shouting at you. <laughs> Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I mean, the, the fact that, that you know, with, with what is going on here with Chattanooga, Chattanooga FC, the fact that, that those teams are coming to, to you know, a small town um, right. because of, of the core that's built here and the excitement around soccer um, and, and what it's done, um, it's it's a testament just to, to, uh, to really everyone that's been involved from, from the fans to It's, uh, it's truly a testament to that to bring in right. clubs of that level to a place like Chattanooga. You never would have thought it was possible to you. No, never. No, it's, it's amazing. The quality of play here we get is one again doing his magic. Puts it back. God, I cannot get a connection on that ball. <laughs> so frustrating. So difficult to get, get that last touch on the ball. Will try and come away. So yeah, it's been, been great. I mean, you know, you appreciate a lot, a lot of the fans watching home and watch for a long time, and they appreciate it. And um, it is it's someone else. And uh, you know, a lot of cities in America would like to have the same kind of soccer team. <laughs> They're pretty jealous. So you know, what we have. So it's pretty cool. Now going from that to somebody's first season, Ruben. 
how are you enjoying your first season in Chattanooga? I love it. There's been two months here, mm -hmm. and I'm very happy here. I think it wouldn't be in a better, mm -hmm. better club because the fans are amazing. Mm -hmm. I like about the people. This year, everyone helps us. Yeah. Anything we, we need, and I mean, we have a very good team. Mm -hmm. I'm very excited to see what we can do this yeah. year. Oh, great. So what made you come to Chattanooga? Was it Juan or somebody else? Or? No, I didn't know anybody else okay. but um, Rose Fuller. Mm -hmm. I played for him last summer in okay. West Palm Beach right. and I, I keep in touch with him and mm -hmm. he told me to come here. Right. I did the tryouts here. Okay. So, yeah. Cool. I probably got a photograph of you on my camera at home with you trying out. <laughs> um, but yeah, now you're here you realise there's been a fairly regular Spanish group playing at Chattanooga over the years, and now you're the next part of it. Yeah, I think one, yeah, I was uh, must be here for seven yeah. years. Or yeah, something. one's really uh, part of the yeah. part of the building, yeah. <laughs> as we say. And there are also more Spanish guys. Right. Sure, sure. Well, that's right. We have the guys from Brazil too. And they, and they are, for me. Yeah. Well, that's good. I'm glad you're comfortable because you're a long way from home. <laughs> yeah. So, but, like I said, the fans yeah. and the people here mm -hmm. make, make me feel like home. I think that's right. Once you've played here once, you're, you're pretty much family here. Yeah. And that's the feeling we like about the club. Even when people leave, we keep in touch and follow their careers as they go, as they go pro, or we like to follow them. And that's always important. So, that's cool. So, um, how does it compare to soccer in Spain? Well, to do is make it more like a European team here and bring the crazy fans and you know the atmosphere of the game so and I find that's like a British game sometimes with the crazy fans and the passion and the, you know, the love of the game and you, know, you understand that being in Spain what we're trying to do is explain to the American people who not many understand it like the folks of here we are all four of us but you know some folks are like what's soccer you know but for you and me it's it's life <laughs> Absolutely. I, I think the Chatter Hooligans have done an unbelievable job of bringing that, that passion mm -hmm. uh, from, from the inside out you know, with, with the fan base. They, they really are. They eat, sleep, and breathe it. They come you know, every game, painted up, waving their flags, singing nonstop. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a good taste of what it's like in other places in the world. Right, right. And uh, plus, you, you'll see when we play the away games, we, we yeah. saw you at Lanza last week. Uh, Ruben, there were more Chattanooga fans than Atlanta fans in the stadium, which is a bit embarrassing for Atlanta, frankly. <laughs> There's been more of us than them. <laughs> but that feels good, right? When you go away, it's like you take your family with you. We felt like home, I think. Yeah. Play. Well, you scored five goals, yeah, so you know. Even away games are home games for the Chattanooga That's it. That's right. That's right. So that makes it very exciting. Um, but yeah, how does it? When you're on the on the field, you can hear the fans, you can hear what they're saying, and all the noise. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You can, and that affects you. You get excited and motivated. Yeah. And, yeah. Normally, we are focused, very focused. So mm -hmm. uh, we are not we are not listening. Maybe right. We are right. hearing this yeah. word, but sometimes if you have the time and you listen to them, it's, we get we get more more strength. And yeah, that's right. There's a bad foul on Caleb Cole. Out the cards coming out from that one. And again, Ash will play in a physical game tonight. So, but yeah, we, we love it. The fans love it when you can get a goal and you celebrate running for the fans. Very exciting. Yeah, that's great. That's that that connection which we really want to have. Oh, it, the goes, class. it goes both ways. Yeah. The, the fans love it when, when you score and celebrate right in front of them right. as a player. Mm -hmm. You want to score so that you can celebrate <laughs> right in front of the fans. So it, it goes both ways. Right, right. That's great. That's really cool. We know so. the effort that like, they, they make. Yeah. So we want to give back to them as well. So mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, they, they spend. Not only the fans, but also like, everyone. 
Well, yeah, everyone who comes, yeah. Everyone who comes, I mean, they do more than they making the banners and stuff. But yeah, everyone who's here is, you know, as passionate as they are, as expressive and everything. But yeah, it's, it's very cool. So, it's very cool. So, yeah, we've got a free kick Chattanooga. Let's see if uh, something happens here. Still 2 1 the Chattanooga. Nearly an hour played. Let's see what we get here. And there's deep in. Keeper grabs it. No problems. Ash will try and break. Let's see Chattanooga shut them down. So, very good. So good play. So, Ruben, are the family are watching in Spain? The friends and family? Yeah, they enjoy used the to, game. They used to watch me. Okay. I would say, I would like to say hello. Say hello in Spanish. Family. I can't. Hola a todos, familia, los morillas, a los ciudades, y especialmente a mis amigos, a los hermanos. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay, and I'm going to build your family's closer. You can say hi if you want to. Yeah, I'll, I'll just yell to them right when I walk out. Okay, that works. <laughs> That's fine. I know my family's not watching because it's about one in the morning at home, so there we go. But uh, anyway, well, thank you both for coming in. We appreciate you both very much. And you both, you're both part of Chattanooga FC, whether you're brand new or you're playing in 10 years. You're all family. So thank you all for coming tonight. Thanks, Michael. Thanks for having us. All right, guys. Enjoy the rest of the game. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Hand you back the key on for a tick. <laughs> You've listened to me too much. Well, it's almost, uh, you know, Chattanooga was so productive there that that interview uh, started. <laughs> yeah, started I know. I keep expected. breaking off and sorry to give you commentary, folks, but it's, it's, there's too much going on. <laughs> yeah, and, and you couldn't risk, you know, missing the goal. Well, you never want to miss a goal, do you? So. But you don't want to miss a chance to talk to, you know talk to the players who we see on the field and, you know, get to see them up close and personal and hear their opinions. It's interesting to hear both those guys with different uh, experiences of Chattanooga. Yeah. You know, uh, one coming into Chattanooga uh, yeah. for the first season and the other one uh, having, uh, in, in a sort of way, built built the house that, that Chattanooga FC is in. So. That's it. Yeah. Very cool. But, uh, nevertheless, all those guys, uh, you know, as we said, you, once you're in CFC, you're family, so that's how it is. So, so almost an hour played, still no score since the first half. Oh, there's a bad mistake, and Webb capitalised quite. <laughs> China is still turning the screws, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, they haven't calm down a bit. You know, temptation could be there to take your foot off the pedal, but they're, they're not falling into it at all. A bit of a breeze down there. Probably helps you cool things down here. a little bit, but it's still, still getting warm cold. down there. Trying to the top of the 18-yard box. There's a handball. Ah, there you go. Ref, we saw that one. What a ref. That's the yellow card. He delivered my handball, he put his arm out. It wasn't uh, a deflection, he put his arm out, stopped the ball. So that's a free hit Chattanooga on the edge of the 18 yard box. And that's Will Mims, the handball. Right. National City Yellow Cards, number two, Will Mims. So Mason Walsh down the ball. Gabby Torres. They're going to uh, swing something in there. Can't take a direct shot, but they can. Uh, Something very dangerous. Let's see what they do. In swinger. Oh. Oh, just over the head oh, of Emerson Lima. Lima's head, which is hard to do if he's so tall, yeah. but they can do it. <laughs> so, Ash will catch their breath and uh, bring on a sub. Number seven, I think. Adam Chick, yeah. He's a striker. So we can't number two off that yellow card. So, 
So a quick hello to the folks at High Wire Brewery who are watching the game tonight. Hope you're enjoying it. That's High Wire Brewery in Asheville, not here in Chattanooga. <laughs> I'm sure they know, but some people don't. Caleb Cole's back up and going, which is good after that knock. Setting out and Webb off. Wait for support to build. That dummy tries to get the ball in, deflects out for a corner. I mean, you think sometimes that Chattanooga would wait for support, but actually, their best chance is when they have the defense on their heels. I yeah, think. it I is. Like the impression. If you've got a player who's got the skill to make the break, some is better to go for it on your own. All right, another channel in the corner. Swing deep ball. in the back of the box. Still loose, not cleared. And a bit of pushing and pulling it's, there. And it's time for the waiter. Delivery of the game. So, uh, foul Look given against Chattanooga. A bit of pushing and pulling there. Sanchez spreads it to your house check. Classic chance you can play, really. Deep ball. Can't find Alan Webb, but nearly. No, he's fast. Same as, as Jao Costa. Speed that can make so much difference. Oh, a collision there. Not intentional. One's gone down. Got winded and a really hard tackle there from Asheville. Mason Walsh pulls out for a throw now. Wild Nice gets some attention. It looks like a collision. He probably got the wind knocked out of him, I think. Yeah, he's holding his, his he's stomach, stomach chest. His chest. I think it's just a. Uh, well, be pretty painful. I've uh, <laughs> had some of those. They do hurt. When you can't breathe on a hot night, it's a horrible feeling. It's like he's back up, which is good. Sped up. And ball goes through the box, offside called, and uh, that one fizzles out. and they're like, no, you're getting fresh laid to somebody who's even faster than Adam Webb, so yeah. enjoy. <laughs> it's, uh, it's probably not fun. I don't it's, know. That they're not aware of that yet, I don't think. But, uh. <laughs> but They'll find out soon enough. They'll find out. I don't know that Jao Costa's ever stepped on a field where he's not the fastest guy on it. Um, <laughs> I, I think you're right. <laughs> there he goes now, talking to Witch. 
looks like he's ready to go. Duck it in, here he is, get the cross in, and touch it out for a corner. Did Chanu straight away winning a corner of Chanu in his first move. Got a result for you folks, and the other game going on tonight, uh, Greenville are uh, winning their game 2-0. So uh, that puts them, I think, level with us at the moment. We both teams stay winning, then positions in the league don't change. Chattanooga stay top, Greenville stay second. So uh, that looks like that's where it is. Let me show you, yeah, can the goal difference, we're still ahead. So uh, Chattanooga's still top of the table after the result. Thank you to my assistant, Alex <laughs> Here comes the corner. Headed back in the box. Oh. Gets a touch. Zika getting a touch, but not into the goal. Touch over the bar. Slight collision with the defender, but uh, Al foul. Early got knocked down. Yeah, it's like that hurt a bit, didn't it? So, not quite uh, goal number three, but again, Chatton is threatening. Celebrating their anniversary of the signing of the anniversary to Kelly and Nagar and a mention of Al CSE. And happy birthday to Denver and Kirka in 2017. Thanks for celebrating with us. Good interception by Caleb Cole there. Hernandez with the Costa. Costa like the lone striker. Zeka on the wing. It's a ball in and again. I think we have another corner. We do. Yeah. A good flexion one by Zeka. It looked for a second like Petkovic. I thought it went out for a goal kick, but it's yeah, that's a corner, that's final us, so a scoring chance for Chattanooga. 69 minutes played, still 2-1. Wish Atten would like a third goal to settle things down. Make it short. Push back in. Ash will clear it. does happen when you get yep. hit in the leg like that. You do when you run like that, Sarge. What's going on? And uh, 
During the injury timeout, I'd like to thank the following sponsors who make tonight's stream possible. Market City Center, Chattanooga FC's official player housing partner, Luxury Living at the center of it all, at 728 Market Street in the heart of downtown Chattanooga. Bellhaven University, need to finish or begin a degree? Come visit Bellhaven University at 820 Broad Street for a flexible, individualized education plan centered around what you already know. And EPB Fiber Optics. Like Chattanooga FC, they're Chattanooga's local heroes, bringing our area ultra-fast, reliable, and innovative fiber and cable. CFC is powered by EPB. Look at them go get a stretch there, put a bit of cramp. And uh, yeah, we have time. Thank all the sponsors too. Thank you to Volta Chattanooga, CHR Memorial, the Center for Sports Medicine, and Blue Cross Blue Shield of Tennessee. Thank you all very much for your sponsorship. Caleb Coles worked more than hard enough for the entire game. And he made some very, very good plays. plays. Daniel Veneziano gets to uh, take his place. Which, again, won't make Ashwood very happy because Daniel was a tall and physical player. So, <laughs> not where you want you got tired legs. Not, not necessarily, and this is this is one of those things that yeah. comes with having the depth that they have. Is well, that's right. That's one right. dangerous guy with another dangerous guy. His fresh legs. Who's going to probably run past you? So, Torres over the kick. In the box, right through, and the keeper grabs it. Nothing coming out of that one. Ashwell trying to get out again. Trying to get something going in Chattanooga's half. This looks promising. And foul given. It's like a uh, foul on Hernandez and a yellow card, which wasn't that really a yellow card foul, but. That was uh, Ashwell trying to get the breakaway happening. Which gives them a free kick in a good spot. So they can make something out of this. I'm sure they'd like to to get themselves back in the game. As the clock's running down, they really want to make something happen. Great dummy there. Now it's in the box. And pushed away, good header, safely out for a throw in. It's all dangerous, but uh, not a little easier to defend. Sick it out, shake for the throw in for Asheville. Short throw, Asheville trying to get some Indian space for a cross. Can't do it. Mason Walsh deflects it out again for the throw. Quickly taken. And uh, hoofed away by Daniel Valenciano. <laughs> Back to the Asheville keeper. Which lets Chanu the push out. Nice play by you as Jack over there. Clears the ball safely. trying to thread the ball all the way back to D'Amico, who's not on their team, just so you know. <laughs> just clearing that up, in case you were wondering. But he is the MPSL Player of the Week, did you know that? <laughs> we're very proud of that fact. <laughs> I, 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 feel like, uh, I feel like they're still not ready. I they're, think you're right. They're, they're not aware. He they is the this. NPSL Player of the I Week. I think he is, yes. <laughs> Moving it forward, trying to find Costa. Ashville trying to be hard. Oh, that's a very dangerous move from Asheville. That's a yellow card. 
And I think it may be. Is it a second yellow card? Chattanooga players gather around the referee taking that's very dangerous play with a high boot up near the face. The referee's consulting with the linesman. And that was extremely dangerous play. And we've got someone down, Chattanooga down cramp. What's the referee doing? Looks like Mason Walsh. Mason Walsh is down, he's been running his legs off all game. Referee and the linesman all over them. Daniel Valenciano telling him that Juan Sanchez telling him that was definitely a red card. And Valenciano telling him the same thing. The referee telling Chattanooga to take the free kick. I think they're still talking about the, the correct punishment for that. But almost certainly a card offence. The referee apparently just given the foul. And he had the entire Chattanooga FC team. Pretty much sure all of you all over him, yeah. favour. Ash wanted to make a substitution with uh, Woody waiting to come on, number 20. Jake Woody. Jake Woody. Yep. Another striker. Placing Tobias Sol and Carlson. Going, but Chanu on the better of them. Nice touch there. There's a great ball to Zeka from Costa. Costa streaking at the box to reach the return shot. There Costa. Is. Oh, he can't get hold of it. He just goes under his foot. Oh man, that's frustrating. And he knew he had it too. He did, didn't he? Ash will try to make the fast break. That's way offside. Cross. Yards and yards offside there on that one. Yeah, we have tonight's attendance a little early than usual tonight. Tonight's attendance, 2,804. Very good number. Very good number indeed on a beautiful night for soccer. These are the folks that have witnessed Chattanooga FC's last home NPSL game. Zeka fighting for the ball there. Still got it. He's got two on him. Trying to come round and he does. Great move. Moves the ball back. Hernandez. Oh, doesn't get the touch he wants. And it's out for Janu to throw. Hernandez tried to chip it. Still that old magic from Zeka there. And Hernandez again putting Zeka on. Heads it in the box. There it is. There it is. 3 1. Costa has been hunting that goal for this, ever since he came into the game. And he's finally found it. Chattanooga FC, a 3-1 to advantage in the 80th minute. Watch this replay. Look at that head. Like a bullet. Into the back of the net. And the net, net bulges. It's 3-1 to Chattanooga. I think Ashwell's night's about done. Or is it? <laughs> Shouldn't say that. Curse of the commentator. But yeah, Gary Costa back on the scoreboard again. He's been out for a couple of weeks resting from a, a knock he got. And he's uh, thrilled you back on the scoreboard, I know that. It was all set up by Hernandez. Yeah, great right play from Hernandez. If he didn't get in the first move, the second move he did. That's wonderful. Ah, excellent. Great play, folks. And uh, you feel a little bit more comfortable now if you're Chattanooga FC. You do. Yeah. Tight 
legs a little bit for Asheville too. Chatham will be able to exploit that with uh, Valenciano and Costa being fresh. So they're going to bring on maybe Oliveira. Let's have a look to Coach Billy's getting ready. Gabriel Gonzalez Bello coming on for the reserve. Give Gabby a run out, let him get some playing time. He uh, played well in Atlanta last weekend, well, in that 5 0 defeat, so. Some 10 minutes to play, deep cross from Hernandez. Keeper can't get hold of it. Referee's calling a foul on uh, Jordan Dunson for impeding the, the uh, goalkeeper a bit. for the substitution if the referee allows it. He does. Mason Walsh coming off. He certainly uh, played himself out, doesn't he, Mason Walsh? <laughs> He's worked hard all night. So, Asheville. The goalkeeper can't see the clock ticking away because it's behind him, but uh, I'm sure he knows they need to hurry up if they're going to get back in the game at all. Something going here. Trying to find the overlap, that's nice. Jamming is deep, it's a little out of shape. A little bit there. I mean, Nashville can't get it going. Going wide again, trying from the other side. There's a header, but it's wayward. And it comes to nothing. Phil D'Amico not having a stretch for that one. And now he didn't really have to move. Looking to stay there. Back in the play from D'Amico. Oh, and a nasty foul on Valenciano there. Just don't think you like that very much. Just cutting the back of the calf. So, Chattanooga will uh, slowly take the free kick and another one down with Cramp. Yeah. The heat. And dehydration are really hurting these guys. I know it's uncomfortable for them. It's it's not obviously hot out, so the dehydration yeah. sneaks up on you. It's all humidity. Yeah, it's uh, it's still humid enough to hurt. It's still June. It's still the south. So Justin Fleer getting ready to enter. Number 19 for Asheville. Free kick for Chattanooga. Headed down to Bello. Sanchez. Sanchez again. Ashley might want to come out of that one. They're going to throw. Ashley 
scratch the head, they're trying to get something happening, they get a throw out of it, and that's uh, gonna give them a little bit of an edge, but Shanu getting all the men back in preparation for the throw. throw deep in the corner, that's cool, okay. <laughs> kind of hard to see because the wall is in you know, our view here, folks. Yeah, inconveniently you Probably can't see it on stream either. It's the one part of the field we actually can't see. Yeah, these near corners are just out of our range. Everything else is good. We're very lucky. Nice header there. Jordan Dunstan clearing it. So glad he's back playing for us again. Yeah, we missed him. We really did last year. And that's a long ball from Asheville, which is speculative and goes out for a goal kick. So, three minutes of regulation play to go. And uh, still chatting over 3 1. Goals from Hernandez, Webb, and Costa. And I don't think there'll be very much stoppage time. We had a couple of cramps. Well, we had a couple of cramps, I'd say about two minutes or so, but uh, nothing outrageous like those you know, eight minutes of stoppage you get at the World Cup and all that nonsense. <laughs> Yeah, I was watching uh, U.S. and France in the Women's World Cup. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was a great game. Yeah, they had like a six-minute stoppage yeah. time. Yeah, the yeah and some of the ones that I've seen, they've had like six minutes each half. So they play like an extra 12 minutes, which is exhausting. And it's super hot in France right now, too. It's like close to 100 degrees every day in Europe right now. Oh, wow. And it's just, it's wearing them out, so it's really tough. Um, and of course, they aren't as uh, air-conditioned as we are here. So it's kind of hard to get away and hide from it. So it's half the players, no matter how fit they are. And that's a mistake. Asheville Torres ducking and diving, keeps it in play. To Bello. Bello coming back. Deflection went against him. Jordan Dunstan rushing the ball out for a goal kick. Yeah, people think it's cool in Europe. They're having a bit of a heat wave in uh, Western Europe at the moment. Friends at home and melt in England. It's like they say it's close to 40 degrees, which is you know up towards 100 in our in our currency over here. So it's pretty toasty. <laughs> I I can only imagine. What do, you, do you think the southern heat is worse or? or it's more Europe? humid here, but they're not used to it uh, over there. Whenever we had it when I was uh, growing up in England, it was just, you could not get cold. You had the windows open, and it didn't matter what you did, there was no way to get caught. So, a bit of Archie Bargy there with the players. And Ash will try to get the free kick going fast. The referee says, nope, take it back from the place where the offence occurred. Alright, oh, minute. There's uh, another ball on the pitch from. Coach Giordano. Referee is uh, putting that back. And and we, still, we still have what two. Has the referee got hold of this game? Or <laughs> what, is go what is going on? Okay, now they're taking the free kick. <laughs> Took that time wasting. And it's actual wasting the time they could use to score a goal. Oh well. There's a reflection. Oh, and Bello gets taken down from behind. That's a card. Every day of the week. On number seven, is that Woody? Just come no, on and got his card. A oh, damn a damn check. Okay. Yeah. So another yellow. It's 90 minutes of regulation time gone. Now we'll wait for a few minutes of added time. And Asheville are changing their goalkeeper. Late, isn't it? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Johnny Manel, the goalkeeper, coming on reserve. Unusual tactic to bring it on when you're two goals down. I would have bought a striker being you know, thinking about it, but what do I know? Yeah, and it's, uh, <laughs> you know, it's, it's not as though uh, uh, Petka Vicious has had a particularly bad game. Not really, I mean, he's I mean, not hurt, so I don't know, who knows? He's not hurt, and they, they did give up the three goals, but it took the whole game, it's not yeah. a... Yeah, it's not like he's getting three goals in ten minutes, and so 
Who knows? Got that number Zeka zipping and steal that ball. Amazing. Yeah, Flenciano looking up. Torres ducking and diving again. Flenciano all the way across. Pushing Nashville back in their own half. They really want to be at the other end, shooting on goal. Let's see if Asheville can make something happen here. It's running out of time. They really better get on with it. Dawson interrupts the attack. Costa down the left wing. He's got Zecker open. Is it Costa on his own? Here goes Costa using his speed around the keeper, and the new keeper gets hold of it. Costa's a one man fast break. No, oh, he really is. from Asheville on this. They should really be pushing that ball into the box every chance they get, and they're not. Just doing that pass, pass, pass. Hasn't really worked. Again, foul by Asheville. Franciano's shirt gets pulled, and someone down is hurt. Like Zeka may just have cramp and then changing out. They're getting uh, Max Walsh ready. So Max is probably going to come on for Zeka for 30 seconds or something. So <laughs> Just to stretch his legs and walk around. Yep. Yeah. Uh, comes off. Walshry, another proven striker on the field. Don't have had much time to do anything, but he's on the field anyway. So. But if I know Max Walshry, he'll definitely try. Well, he won't. He's not. He won't. I guess he won't <laughs> even try. But whether, whether the clock will let him, I don't know. So, free kick. D'Amico to take it. Deep into the Asheville half. To Wilshire. And another foul because he's pushed in the back. And then the referee says, now nah, that's it, I've had enough. End of the game, 3 1 to Chattanooga FC. There we are, yep. Yeah. As the stadium announcer says, six wins in a row for Chiefs CFC. And uh, another great win keeps us top of the table. Uh, with two more games to play. So, yeah, on the road Wednesday night, July the 3rd, in Antioch to play Nashville SC. And then next Saturday in Greenville for the final game of the season. So, uh, lots more action to come, but not here. So, I suggest you get on with the Chat Hooligans. Get on there.